it's me again. This is one of the really, really big books, so I can't stand and hold it, but I hope you like it. It's called Winnie the Witch by Corky Paul and Valerie Thompson. I think you can see Winnie the Witch there. Can you see her cat? <laughs> Let's have a look. Wow, it really is a big, big book. Winnie the Witch by Corky Paul and Valerie Thompson. Wow, look at that house. Winnie the Witch lived in a black house in the forest. The house is black on the outside and black on the inside. The carpets were black. The chairs were black, the bed was black, and it had black sheets and black blankets. Even the bathroom was black. Oh my goodness, yes it was. There's the bathroom there, and there's the bedroom. There's Winnie there. My goodness, that's definitely a black house. I think we can see that. Shall we turn the page and find out what happens? Winnie lived in her black house with her cat, Wilbur. He was black too. And that is how the trouble began. When Wilbur sat in a chair with his eyes open, Winnie could see him. She could see his eyes anyway. Yep, I can see his eyes. That's okay. But when Wilbur closed his eyes and went to sleep, Winnie couldn't see him at all, so she sat on him. Ooh, ooh. When Wilbur sat on the carpet, with his eyes open. When he could see him. She could see his eyes anyway. Yep, I agree with Winnie. I can see him with his eyes. But, uh oh. When Wilbur closed his eyes and went to sleep, Winnie couldn't see him at all. So, she tripped over him. Oh dear. <clears throat> One day after a nasty fall, Winnie decided something had to be done. She picked up her magic wand and waved it around once. We can join her in this if you want. The words are really good magic words. They are called Abra Kadabra. Shall we do that? Here's them written down. Abra Kadabra. Should we say that once again? We'll count to three and say it again. One, two, three. Abra Kadabra. Well, Winnie decided she picked up her magic wand and waved it once and can you remember? One, two, three. Abracadabra! Wilbur was a black cat no longer. He was bright green. I don't think she'll lose him now. Now, Wil when Wilbur slept on a chair, Winnie could see him. When Wilbur slept on the floor, Winnie could see him. Can you see him there? And she could see him when he slept on the bed. But Wilbur was not allowed to sleep on the bed. Uh oh, his secret is out. 
So Winnie put him outside. Outside? On the grass. Oh. When Wilbur sat outside on the grass, Winnie couldn't see him. Even when he opened his eyes wide open. Can you see Wilbur on the grass? I think that's him there. Winnie came hurrying outside, tripped over Wilbur, turned three somersaults and fell into a rose bush. Shall we follow it? Uh oh. I think that's Winnie's legs and her arms. I wonder what she's going to do now. This time, Winnie was furious. She picked up her magic wand and waved it five times. And do you remember that magic word? Can you remember that one? Abracadabra. Shall we see it again? One, two, three. Abracadabra. Wilbur had a red head, a yellow body, a pink tail, blue whiskers and four purple legs. Now when he could see Wilbur when he sat on a chair, when he lay on the carpet, when he crawled in the grass and even when he climbed to the top of a tree. He doesn't look very happy though, does he? Winnie seems happier. Let's turn the page to see what happens. Wilbur climbed to the top of the tallest tree to hide. He looked ridiculous and he knew it. Even the birds laughed at him. Oh, poor Wilbur. Wilbur was miserable. He stayed at the top of the tree all day and all night. Next morning, Wilbur was still up the tree. Winnie was worried. She loved Wilbur and hated him to be miserable. Then Winnie had an idea. She waved her magic wand and... Do you remember those special words? I'll show you them again. Abracadabra. So we say it after three. One, two, three. Abracadabra. Wilbur was a black cat once more. Yes, he's black. He came down from the tree purring, which means he must be happy. <coughs> Winnie then waved her magic wand again and again and again. wonder what she was doing. Now instead of a black house, she had a yellow house with a red roof and a red door. The chairs were white with red and white cushions. The carpet was green and pink. The bed was blue with pink and white sheets and blankets. The bath was gleaming white. And now Winnie can see Wilbur no matter where he sits. Shall we try and find Wilbur? We'll do a scan across very slowly to see if we can see him. I'm not sure if I can see him. Let's go. Oh, I'm not sure. Shall we go back again and have a look? Let's go back again. Oh, I see Winnie. That's her in the middle. Can you see Wilbur? Yes, there he is. Oh, he does look happy, doesn't he? 
the end. I'll see you another time for another story. Bye!